Yo, what's up? So I wanted to tell you all about this massive epiphany I have had that is going to help me so much with spreading this message and getting it out there. It's going to help a lot of other people who want to know more about veganism and activism and things like that. It's something I could have thought of a few years ago and I wish I did kind of, but everything happens for a reason or whatever. Um, but it is, yeah, it's actually going to help a lot. It's a massive realization I've had. <laughs> I don't know what took me so long. This is kind of me. I, I like, you know, I do something one way for a long time and then I realize, oh my God, man, there was such a better way of doing this. <laughs> but then when, when I figure it out, I'm in, like then I've got it. So I think that's what's happened here. And the epiphany is this, so this is how it happened. Every now and then I get someone message me saying, man, I just went through your Instagram or I see all these likes on all these photos from way back on my Instagram. It happens every now and then. And I post on Instagram and Facebook every single day. I've done that for the last few years. And I haven't really put much energy into YouTube. I don't know why, I just, I just haven't, eh? It just seemed like more effort, you know? Uploading videos, like I'm always traveling, rarely have Wi-Fi, things like, not really have Wi-Fi, but I don't know, it's just like this more energy, it takes hours to upload a vid, and Instagram and Facebook's just so quick and easy. But the epiphany I've had is this, that only very rarely does somebody say that they've just gone through my Instagram or through my Facebook. And that's what I've realized, those posts that, you know, I spend a lot of time on some of them, those posts have a, a short lifespan. You know, people won't, generally people don't go back a whole week even through your Facebook. They go back a little bit, whatever, but most people, when they start following you on Facebook or Instagram, they start following you and then they're ready for the next content. Not often, I think, from, from what I can tell, do people go way back, you know? They just start following from that moment. What I've noticed with YouTube is that so many people say, man, I just got onto your stuff and I just binge watched all your videos over the weekend. You know, videos that are a few years old or whatever. So what I've realized is these videos have such a longer shelf life. You know, they stay around, they're there. They're so easy to scroll through and see videos from three years ago. You try to find my Instagram post from three years ago, it'll take you half an hour. So, and, and yeah, so basically that's it. So it's such a better way because all these videos are gonna be there forever that people can see just really easily scroll through. And instead, what I'm gonna do now, instead of putting all these random thoughts and little things that are happening and things like that on Instagram and Facebook, I'm gonna see how I go just uploading it to YouTube. Instead of going, oh, I just had this thought, I'll, I'll write a post about it on Instagram. I'll just be like, sweet, I had a thought, I'm gonna make a quick video about it, kind of like what I'm doing right now. So I'm just gonna feel it out, see what happens, things like that. But I think this is gonna be a way better way because then when people discover my stuff, they can go through all these videos instead of never going through my Instagram or Facebook, which just isn't gonna happen. Seems like it makes a lot more sense. And obviously when you get to see somebody, you get to hear their passion and, you know, reading's kind of an effort. You can just put a video on and hear it in the background. There just seems to be a lot of reasons to start going down the video, the video line. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and that's it. I just wanted to tell you, I think this is a really important way forward. And I think it's something that, you know, we could all kind of think about. Sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want to do videos or whatever because everything I want to do, it's already been done a million times. Who cares, man? Do it again because no one's going to do it quite like you did it and your friends and family aren't necessarily interested in other people, but they're probably going to be interested in you enough to maybe click on your video every now and then. And the point is to saturate social media with veganism, with the vegan message. And by saturating social media with it, it's, it's everywhere. People, everyone's doing what I eat in a day. Everyone's, you know, writing posts about animals and things like that. So that is a really good way to get it out there. So don't think, oh, you know, everyone has already done these videos. Who cares, man? Do your own version of it with your own words in your own way and you will resonate with people that may not have resonated with me or with somebody else. So that's it. That's my epiphany. 
I'm excited to keep doing more vids. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching these ones and supporting me, you know, like encouraging me in the comments and things like that. And if you've got any vids you want me to make, let me know. I've got a pretty long list, but, um, you know, I'm happy to take requests or do whatever. So, I don't know. Just see how it goes. And, yeah, but I'm feeling good about it. Alright, so I'll see you in the next vid.